Good evening. Well, we start with some very sad news from the world of Gaelic games. Tributes have been paid to former Galway hurler Tony Keady, who passed away last night, aged 53, after a short illness. Keady was an all-star, a hurler of the year, as well as a two-time All-Ireland winner. Foley and Tony Keady, who's going to win that battle? Tony Keady says it's going to be me this afternoon. Great solo run, good jink, and a lovely score. It's a, a Galway great passing of Tony Keady at the age of just 53 has brought huge shock and upset to the county. Those who knew him as a friend or a teammate are today mourning a larger-than-life character both on and off the field of play. Harlan, he excelled at it and won every accolade that needed to be won and um, you know his memory will will live on but more importantly it'll live on as a for me as a friend but for his family you know a great dad. The Kalimer Daily Clubman first emerged as a minor in the 1980s before playing in five senior All-Ireland finals. They garnered two winners' medals in 1987 and 88. He often said that uh, the only distraction that he had when taking a free, that as he lay the ball on the ground, he could see from the corner of his eye the umpire reaching for the white flag before the free was taken. Twice an All-Star, Tony Keady was also one of just three Galway men to be named Hurler of the Year. While in 1989 he was suspended for 12 months, a judge to have played illegally in the United States, an episode still referred to as the Keady Affair. After retirement as a player, Keady continued to be involved with the game at club and underage level, his passion for Galway hurling always evident. We have as good a players, and I mean, I've, I've gone through an awful lot of these lads at underage and at under 21 and everything, and they are strong, and I mean, I think that we are dark horses this year. It's close on three decades since Tony Keady last wore his beloved maroon, but he'll long be remembered as a Galway great.